I'm Mehmet Guler from Entes Electronics. Today I'll introduce the DTR-10 time roll from our Astro time rolls. We took the DTR-10 on schedule positions. A user manual for a single product emerges when the box is opened. We received the DTR-10 time relay, the astronomical time relay similar to this. The device is powered by A1 phase and A2 neutral. Since there are two relay outputs on the bottom side of A1, energy is supplied to the number 2 of C1 by jumping from A1. And if we are going to use the second relay, energy is supplied to the number 2 of C2. Here, number 3 is a NO contact in both roles. One of the numbers is NC contact. We'll exit at number 3, we'll exit at NO. If we talk about the device features, it has an astronomical time roll, so when we select the city we're in, like Istanbul, Ankara, Izmir, and other cities, it works based on the sunrise and sunset of that city. In this way, garden lighting can be done in similar apps in other apps. Additionally, we can give pull and drop commands to the device in terms of time. For example, we can control our garden lighting by turning it off at 6 p.m. and turning it on at 5 a.m. The connection diagram for the device is also displayed on the side as the fault diagram. You can also examine from this location. We will provide our face to A1 of our device. I will employ the C1 role in this instance. Thus, I executed a phase jump to the second position of C1. I will connect the signal lamp to see the relay output again. I also take the neutral leg of my signal lamp from here. I am also giving the neutral feed of the device. Neutral line connected to A2 as well. Yes. Since I will take the relay output from number 3 as I said, I am connecting my relay output to number 3 of C1. The device's connection is complete in this way. We will program our device with some sample programs and see the operation of the relay output. We have the capability to provide phase skipping from A1 to the second number of C1 or the second number of C2 in order to establish a connection between our astronomical time roll and connection A1. By giving it a neuter, we complete the feeding of device A2. We will take our exit here by selecting C1 and also taking the exit from number 3 of C1. When you receive it from the factory at its first opening, there are two programs set as Sunrise and Sunset for C1 and C2. The device's button functions are as follows. There is a home button located here. Menu utilizes ESC key to return. Press and hold OK button to access the menu. The down and up arrow help us navigate menus. To access the device menu, we press and hold OK for 5 seconds and access the device menu. Program. Contact duration, setting monitoring, regional settings, time setting, screen setting, manual location, password setting, factory setting, version information, exit from menu. When programming the device, we press OK once in the program menu. He said P1 is full. We press the OK button, correct, we fixed it. Look, here is the P01 out output. We can select either the C1 role or the C2 role at this location. Let's go with C1. We press the OK button. P01 check. He says it's withdrawal time. We can choose the sunset here. We can choose the time or we can choose sunrise. As an example, we chose the sunset. So I will want the device to come into play. At the end of the year, I am in. I chose the end. In addition to the end we choose here, we can give durations like 20 mins, 1 HR. When I do it like this, I reference the sunset every day, 365 days a year, but I always burn the next hour, or I can say 10 minutes after sunset, 20 minutes after sunset, or I can withdraw it sooner. If needed, I can subtract here. I said to activate 1 HR before sunset, or I said to activate it 10 minutes or 20 minutes before sunset. We can do it this way. Proceed by navigating menu. Device programming unfinished. I chose sunset. He asks here daily. Should she work like this daily or on the days you choose? If we say yes daily, it operates seven days a week. If we say no daily, it prompts you for work days here. 
On mon, yes. On two, yes. We say let it work. On wed, let it work. But on thu, no. On free, no. On set, no. On sun, no. We can say it. We can definitely say it. Here we can determine the working system of the days. Later on, we took a photo of the device at sunset, but we need to return the device. PO1 says leave. Don't release sunrise. Deactivate it at sunrise, our location or sunset if preferred. We have the choice to deactivate it at either time. We can achieve this within the time frame if we want. So I propose leaving at 05 to 00 in the morning. We can do it this way. We can proceed in this way, but let's choose sunrise. Let the day end at sunrise. Here, as previously, we can allocate extra time at the start as we did at sunset. We are able to accomplish it one hour subsequent to sunrise or 20 minutes subsequent to sunrise 10 minutes later. We can do it initially if we desire. We can do it one hour ago or 10 minutes ago or 20 minutes ago. We proceeded again with the OK button in this way. Program is suitable. Confirm, yes it came. Pressed OK button. He said PO1 is full. Most important step here is we made this change. We created this setting. We must save it. Pressing home button display the program. We printed one more. Save yes. This is important. Save yes. OK button pressed. Later on, when device reaches your hands from factory, regional settings menu is set to GMT3 time zone. No daylight saving time in our country. Thus it's closed and set as sunrise and sunset for C1 and C2 due to the absence of DST. If we are in a different city, press the set button, hold down the OK button, we came to the program. We continued with the up arrow, regional settings, we press the OK button, language is Turkish, we can set it here as German, Spanish, English if we want. We chose the language as Turkish, location Istanbul, we can make province selection up to Ankara, Izmir, Adana and Zonguldak if we want. Continued from Istanbul again. Look, time zone setting adjusted. Settings can be changed here, affecting device operation. Consider this, the ski resort appears closed. No DST is applied in our country now. Closed, it must be closed. Look, I made a change here too. I pressed the home button one by one again to save this change. Save yes. Pressed OK button, like this. Another point about the device is, some users programmed it, but they're asking if they can get a roll output. They want to know how to check this. Look, held down down button here, device in auto mode, but need to switch to manual and get a manual output. Need an output with my command. Held down down button again, released finger, displayed manual, which means now I'll get a roll output from C1 with my commands. Look, press down button once, C1 filled, dark color, it will empty and fill again. Look, here I got an exit from the number three of my C1. I want to quit again. I press the button down once, it filled up, emptied, filled up, emptied, and look, the device dropped its rolls. Sometimes device's date and time can be wrong. I re-entered the menu, I arrived punctually. Date 09, if I want I can make it 19. I kept going, I am making modifications. Date changed, pressed up arrow key, also want to change time. Did 16, pressed OK button. The time has changed. No need to save this when leaving. It stores the change you made directly here in its memory. Adjust C1 based on time if desired. Use it as a program example. Capture device rollout with a photo at 16 for 30. Look, I pressed OK again. Second button from left. Program has arrived. Pressed OK once. My P1 is full. My P2 is full. My P3 is empty. Now I'm coding from scratch P3. I pressed the OK button. Out C1. Withdrawal time. I want my device to charge at 16.30. I press the OK button. Out C1. Withdrawal time. I want my device to charge at 16.30. Allow it to operate every single day. Yes, it is the appropriate time to depart at 16.30 in the afternoon. Two possible values are 30.07 or 8. It is unclear which one is accurate. However, it is probable that the value falls within this range. Additional analysis is required to ascertain the precise value. Let's set a working time. Confirm yes. Okay, I did it. Look, let's focus on this again. Pressed home button. Pressed home button. Pressed home button. Saved. Yes, we achieved it. Look, the device will output from CH1 in around 7 8 secs. We also mentioned in our user manual. Don't recommend these as plug and play. They're remote control devices. 
Definitely, a power contactor must be connected to their output to prolong its lifespan for its roles. Look, he just gave us the exit. Again, time has passed and the energy has been cut. It's like this. We are proud to be with you in all your energy applications and energy quality solutions as Entes.